Hey you and welcome. I'm Mr. Barry. In this old video, I'm going to show you how to change, reset, or even remove a Windows password, all with a simple utility. Let's check it out, you and I. Come on. Hey, here we are inside a Windows login screen. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in there and attempt to put in the password. Oops, it looks like I've forgotten the password though. Now maybe this has happened to you with a computer that you haven't used in a while or maybe even within an account within a computer that you haven't used in a while and you've forgotten the password. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to actually uh, download and use a utility out on the internet and we're going to be putting it onto a thumb drive and the utility is called PassFab for WinKey and I'm, I'm going to have a link to that web page down in the description of this video now once you're at the website you notice it opens up and you have different choices for uh, the app there I'm going to be using the ultimate choice there and installing it onto a thumb drive. Now you notice that all the versions there allow you to reset or remove a Windows login password. The ultimate version also allows you to work with a Microsoft account and resetting that as well. Now for a quick disclaimer, is it legal? Yes, it is legal to reset or remove your own Windows password, especially if you've forgotten it. Now, the next question is, why am I promoting this product? Well, it's an easy to use product. It basically, you just download their utility onto a flash drive and you plug it into the locked Windows computer and you unlock it, which is great to have. In my classroom, I do teach or instruct other ways to do this, but you have to have a Windows CD or you have to have a, a Windows onto a thumb drive have a lot of steps and you have to actually get into the code and change things manually so you have to know a lot about coding and doing that if you want to do it the other way this way really forgoes all of that and just a few clicks away hey you unlock the windows password and i think this is an easy way to do it saves you a lot of time so that's why i'm promoting this product now once you've purchased and downloaded the app and opened it, you'll see this screen here. And on this screen here, it says, thanks for using PassFab for WinKey. The program supports the operations such as removing account passwords, resetting account passwords, deleting accounts, and even creating new account functions without reinstalling the Windows computer system. Before using this feature, you should insert one disk, which can be a CD or DVD or even a USB thumb drive and that will be for burning the Windows boot disk. So go ahead and do that now as I'm going to do that and then select the choice that you want whether it be a CD or if you want to burn it into a USB flash drive. Now if you are putting into a flash drive the flash drive should be larger than 16 gigs which is pretty common and you have to remember that all the data on that drive will be erased so you want to use an extra USB thumb drive. So plug the drive into the USB port of your computer and you notice it will say the letter there and then select that drive by clicking on it and then click on next. Now it gives you a warning it says all your data in that drive will be erased during the burning process are you sure you wish to continue? Go ahead and click on next and you'll see it burning the information now onto the drive and actually what it's doing is it's creating a Windows boot drive. Now after the burning is done you'll see this window come up here where it says burning successful. Please follow the instructions below to continue. So we want to insert the USB thumb drive that you've created into the locked computer and then restart that locked computer. Then immediately and repeatedly you'll be pressing the boot key until the BIOS setup utility appears. Now depending on the brand of your computer it could be different keys that you press but many times 
right when the computer is booting up, if you look at that screen, it'll actually say press the F2 or press the F11 or press the F12. It will say one of those keys there to enter into the boot menu there. And here are some suggestions that they actually have on this screen. So they're saying such as press the F12 key if you have one of those computers there or the escape key, the F9 or the F key, the F8 key if you have one of those other brands. Now, <clears throat> like I said earlier, it should say it on that first screen and after you do that then you enter into a the boot menu and you'll select the USB thumb drive to boot from. Now this is just a temporary uh, change. We don't want to make it as a permanent change. We just want to do it one time so we can be booting up from the thumb drive so that we can boot up from the operating system here and with that utility and change that password. Go ahead and click on next on this window. Now it shows you sample screens of what you might see on your computer when you actually get into the boot menu. And so it might be uh, one of these here. The very first one there is an older style and basically you use your keys on your keyboard to so you use the down arrow key to select the USB drive. And if you have a newer computer, you'll have one of these screens here as you see. Now go ahead and press next. And now you'll see this screen here. Once you have access to the lock PC from the bootable disk, choose the target Windows system and features. Last, select your locked account to unlock the computer. So now let's go over to my locked computer and let's unlock it with this utility. So take that USB that you've created and plug it into that locked computer and then turn it on. As you turn it on, you'll notice that it will have a small text in there saying the boot menu. As we talked about earlier, go ahead and press that key. In this case for me, it's the F12 key for the boot options. And boom, hey, there's the boot options. I'm going to scroll down and choose the USB drive. Hit the enter key and now it attempts to boot up from the USB drive. There it is, it's loading and you'll see the Windows logo as well. After a moment or two, you'll see this screen here. Now my computer has multiple operating systems. On yours, you probably only have one. But in this case, I'm going to choose the Windows 10 and I'm going to go down and then click on Windows 10. Now click next. After that you'll see the users and their accounts names there. Go ahead and click on the one that you want. In this case I'm going to click on the very first one there called the administrator. And now we have other options. I'm going to choose reset password. Go ahead and I'm clicking that now. And now click next. Then you'll see this window open up. This allows you to key in the new password. I'm going to choose something simple like 12345. So I'm going to key that in and then we're going to click on reset. After that, you'll see this coming up where it says resetting the password and then click on reboot. Now the machine will come up and it'll be starting up Windows normally. And you should notice, okay, on mine, I have multiple operating systems. So this is my boot menu. So I'm going to choose Windows 10 there. Comes up, you'll see the Windows logo. Now you'll see this message coming up saying, congratulations, you've resetted the password there. So go ahead and click on OK or done on that. And let's try it out. So I'm going to get into my account here and it works. So now you see I'm inside of the desktop. Hey, now you know one method of recovering or resetting or even removing a password on a Windows computer. Hey, if you like these types of videos, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below because I love to read your comments and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you very much and you have a wonderful day. Bye bye.